Hey kids, in just a few short weeks, we're gonna be able to worship together in person. But this week, we've got another great service for you. 1 Peter 5.5 5 says, God opposes proud people, but helps everyone who is humble. So let's get ready to worship together. I didn't even see you there. I thought, I, I, hey, you were Whoa. just you were just playing. But that was a great game. You guys did such a good job out there. Thanks. Well, congratulations on the win, man. That is yeah. awesome. Well, I just wanted to say thanks to my mom, my dad, mm. um, I like um, Martin Luther taught me how to hammer things, and definitely God. But I just wanted to say I think I should take the most credit for this because. Um, I was playing center field, yes, but my friend Sweater hit a home run, and then Trevor hit two home runs, but I told him to do it, and therefore I win because I told him to do Which, it. So I'm, I just think I should get more credit. I should get a bigger trophy than than. Whoa, whoa, Chip, but Chipper, you you can't like you guys you guys won as a team. Like I watched the game, well, you guys yeah, won yeah, score. No, no, hold on, hold on. I wanted, we wanted to team because I helped them do it because they didn't know they needed to do that until I told them. Um, Chipper, that's not that's not how it goes. Um, and actually, well, well. actually, this is this is going along with 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 what we're talking about today with Mish Ashley and and what we're, we're. Let me just read a verse to you. It's actually found in First Peter five five. It says that God opposes or doesn't like proud people, and then he says he helps everyone who is humble. He helps everyone who doesn't take the credit, right? And okay. I feel like you're taking a lot of credit right now. But the credit is due where the, I, no. I can't remember what they were saying. No, no, The no. credit is due where the credit is due, right? Well, let me tell you a story. So there's these guys called the Pharisees in the Bible. And so if you go in your Bible and you turn to chapter 23, everybody say 23. 23. When you go to chapter 23, you've got Jesus Talking. He's talking to these guys named the Pharisees. Say Pharisees. 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 Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't think my TH is very well. No, it's okay. But he's talking to these guys about not only being humble, because they're talking about all of the things that they do to earn God's respect or to earn God's love or to do things to earn something from God. And, and Jesus is trying to help them see that it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what you are, the greatest person, the greatest people that we could ever be, is always going to be that of, of a servant, someone who's serving other people. 
but they were thinking that it was it was better if they were like being exalted or if they were being the ones so being praised. Can I can I butt in yet? Yes. So you're saying that I shouldn't play baseball anymore? No, no, no. I'm saying that you should but win. But you as a said I should serve. I should definitely just bring water out to the field in between mm. innings. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, is Jesus is trying to teach these Pharisees something about humility. And in fact, oh. Jesus says this to them. Let me read this to you. This is in Matthew 23, in verses 10 through 12. It says, "And don't let anyone call you teacher, for you have only one teacher, the Messiah." And then he says, "The greatest among you must." be a servant or someone who serves. But those who exalt themselves or lift themselves up, guess what? what? It says that they will be humbled. And those who humble themselves, Jesus says that they will be exalted. So the best place that you and I could ever be is people who serve, people who are humble. And so when you're out there on the field with your team, you remember that you're a part of a team. It's, it's kind of not about you. So it's about helping your team win and then letting them have the credit and you get to just hang out and enjoy the win with everybody. So the goal is tell them to hit home runs, but is to be exalted and pepper together. Did you say salted and pepper? You said you said it first. You said exalted and pepper. No, 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 no. Okay, anyway, boys and girls, let me just, let me recap for you and let me tell you. And Chipper, listen up. This is I'm listening, but you said salt. <clears throat> so, boys and girls, this is such a great thing that we can learn. Moms and dads, this is for us too. What Jesus is trying to teach us here, he's trying to teach us one of the greatest things that we could ever learn, and that is being a servant to others. Now the problem with these guys is they wanted the credit, but what's so freeing and what's so beautiful about life and about the life of God and what Jesus has done is when we accept him into our heart, we ask Jesus to be the Lord of our life, we get this amazing opportunity to let him not only love us, but to serve others. And when we serve others, we step out of being exalted and we exalt him. When we serve others, we stop making it about ourselves and we start making it about others and making it about Jesus. And that is a really free life to live because of him.
Kids, that was an amazing service, and I hope you had as much fun as I did, worshiping, singing to Jesus, and learning about what it is to have a humble heart. Just remember that God loves a humble heart, and we'll see you soon.